Let us stand as we engage in worship. Praise God. And while you're standing, you look so beautifully this morning in your beautiful t-shirts. Come on, let's give God some praise. Amen. Come on, give him some praise. Praise God. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, saints. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad to be alive this morning? Come on, turn to your neighbors and neighbor. I'm blessed to be on this side. Come on, tell the other neighbor, I'm blessed also to be on this side. Praise God, praise God. While you're standing, let us sing together. Blessed assurance found on page 369. And let us all sing together. And then we'll have the opening prayer by Minister Green. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes.
There is an evil I have seen under the sun as an arrow proceeding from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity while the rich sit in a lowly place. I have seen servants on horses while princes walk on the ground like servants. Verse 8. He who digs a pit will fall into it. And whoever breaks through a wall will be bitten by a serpent. Right. Serpent, pardon me. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say thank you, Jesus, for the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, saints of God, we will have the announcements. Sister Crystal Salters. Praise God. God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is my story. This is my song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the day long. Yes. That's what we will do, friendship. We will praise the Lord. It's an in season and out of season. Yes. Glory to God. Good morning. 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 Today is Sunday, August 29th, 2021, and these are today's announcements. We thank God for the plants that adorn the altar on today. Amen. Amen. We have a card here. It says, but though the words are simple, hope you know how much warmth and appreciation come with them. And this is coming from Betty Austin. To the Friendship Church family, mm -hmm. saying thank you doesn't seem like enough to show how much your caring and thoughtfulness have meant. Thank you, Sister Austin, for the lovely card. And we just thank God for your speedy recovery. Amen. Our annual picnic um, scheduled for September 4th has been canceled because of rising COVID numbers. We will not serve dinner after our homecoming service this year for the same reason. Our homecoming service will be held on next Sunday, September 5th at 10 o'clock a.m. Adults are asked to pay $100 and youth and children are asked to pay $25. Please check with the ushers for an envelope. The eighth order of the t-shirts that order is back. Please stop by after services to pick up your t-shirt. The committee on nominations will meet in the library immediately after services. That is the committee on nomination, meeting in the library immediately after services. Glory to God. Our parish notice, um, this is on the program, tells us that Bible study um, is via conference, September 1st. This is Wednesday night. The conference call number is on there, 408-418-5050, and your PIN number, 061994-POUND, and it's also on Facebook. This is the same number that is used for noonday prayer on every Wednesday, and I admonish you to please um, check in with noonday prayer on that same conference number. Because we know that in a time like this, we do need prayer. We need prayer all the time. Yeah, yeah. But in a time like this, glory be to God, with um, airstrikes and everything going on in Afghanistan, with the COVID running rapid, and now with the Delta on the loose. But as I told you a couple of Sundays ago, yes, Delta is on the loose, but we have the Alpha and the Omega. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But still, wear your mask and practice social distancing. Because we know that no prayer, we have no power. Little prayer, we have little power. But with much prayer, glory be to God, we have much power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our sick report is listed on the bulletin. We are so happy and delighted to say that Sister Dorothy Bluefoot is home. God is a healer. God is a healer. The whole world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These, let's remember all of our sick and our shut-in in our prayers 
Our telephone calls and we know visitations are limited right now, but let's just remember the late man. Um, these are your announcements. Um, we're going to give way to Sister uh, Mary Presley from Finance, and after she comes with an announcement, I'll be back briefly. Amen. 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 Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Um, again, the finance department would like to thank you all for your givings. It's much appreciated and it's much needed. So again, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, the envelopes, we've been getting a lot of envelopes and they have check marks on them. The money is inside, but, but there, we don't know whether they're going for your tithe or for your general. So please, for safety, please put an amount on the outside of your envelopes because we don't want to be responsible for at the end of the year. And you said you put in $50 in there, and we only wrote $25 on the envelope. So please put your amount on the outside, general, all your ties on the outside of your envelopes. And this will help us and will help you at the end of the year. Now, as far as your seed money, your seed money, if you put your seed money in the basket, we don't have a record of it. At the end of the year, you will not get uh, recognized for that amount that you put in for seed. We're going to start, and we're going to try and ask Ms. Pearl, can she order envelopes just for speed, or for seed? I'm getting ready to say speed. For seed. For seed. So we're going to order special envelopes just for seed. But if you put it in there without an envelope, we don't know where it's going. And most likely it's going to sick and shut in. So please, when you use, use the envelopes, that's what they're for. We have plenty of envelopes. So use the envelopes. Right on the outside seat. You can cross out general and tie, but right on the outside seat. And you will be accounted for that money at the end of the year. Your request for funds. I'm getting a lot of requests for funds. No request forms. There will be no funds given out without a completed request form signed and for the reason for your request. So please, everyone, going forward, I don't want to have to go back and forth with you and say, no, I need a request form. This will make it much easier for the finance department if you fill out your request form in full and give it to us. And um, let me see if there's anything. I don't want to forget anything. But the most important thing is the check mark on your envelope. Do not put the check mark on it. Put an amount. And it will make it much easier for everyone. I think that's it for today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Sister Presley, for on um, those um, explicit details. We want to make sure that we're doing everything decently and in order. Our Friendship Amen. United Methodist Church, you have heard today's announcements. We do ask that you take note and govern yourselves accordingly. At this time, we ask, are there any visitors with us? If so, we ask that you please stand. Any, any visitors with us today, we ask that you please stand. Okay. Uh, no visitors, so we thank you, praise God, for each and every one of you. Have a blessed day, amen, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. thank you, Sister Morris, for those announcements. I pray that you are listening attentively let us follow the guidelines. Yes, COVID is rising. It is really attacking our children. Uh, parents, we pray that you will do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Uh, we pray that God will continue to watch over all of us and keep us safe and saved. Amen. 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 Uh, 
Yes, let us continue to give our donation of asking for homecoming. Praise God and friendship. I'm here to, to help you move to the next level. So I pray that you will work with us. Amen. Amen. One thing I have learned, when you have a group of godly followers, great things happen. So I pray that you all will uh, work with us on the homecoming celebration that's next Sunday. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Also, saints, um, next Sunday we will have communion. Amen. I mentioned to you on last Sunday, if anyone wants to get the elements this morning to take home for your sick, and your sick ones, uh, you may do so. Uh, we will partake of the communion in the same manner we did on last first Sunday. We will give you the elements when you enter the church, and we all will take simultaneously. So if you need to get the elements today, fine. If not, uh, your loved ones, your sick ones may get the uh, Welch's juice or water, and we will have conference call, uh, worship service, and in person, and Facebook, and we all will take together. Let the church say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Saints, I'm still praying about a prayer and a healing service uh, sometime October, but let us see what God is going to do and where he's going to take this uh, pandemic, but I believe if a few grateful and faithful saints come together, I believe God will answer our prayers. Amen. Amen. So we are praying about this uh, prayer and healing service, Amen. and I will certainly give you more information. Amen? Amen? Sadly, we were supposed to have a young spirit-filled group from Orangeburg this morning, but due to the rising COVID, uh, we decide to have them come another time. But you must, you got to hear these young people say, they are anointed. So we will give them another invitation to come and worship with us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you look very, shall I say, godly this morning in your t-shirt. It's just a t-shirt. But don't you know that name represents something the church reached in the young church? You are so blessed. You are a walking Bible. So when folks see you, saints of God, they will ask you all the information. What church you're from? Where did you get your t-shirts? I'm coming to worship with you. You give them the invitation. Amen? Amen. Praise God. You look so beautiful this morning. Just stand up. Stand up for the Lord. Come on, stand up for God this morning. Hallelujah. Just stand up. Come on. Give the Lord some praise. Come on, give the Lord some praise this morning. You are blessed and highly favored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Reaching the unchurched. And saints of God, this is going to be our vision for a lifetime. Praise God, there are folks in your community who uh, need to know who Jesus is. Amen? Amen. And ushers, I want to thank you all for your obedience. God bless you. God bless you. I promise you, God is going to do something special for all of you. Amen. That's a promise from the Lord. God has Amen. never let me down. One thing I've learned, when you live and walk in obedience, tell them somebody... When you live and walk in obedience, God does great things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. At this time, saints of God, praise God. We will lift tithe and offerings. And again, thank you for your obedience. Praise God. Ushers, uh, you may come at this time and choir, you may sing as we. Uh, go through this part of the service, but we're going to bless it first, amen. We call this the, the, the intro blessing, praise God. We want God to do something in advance. We want God to be proactive. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. God, we thank you for watching over us this past week. Thank you, Father God, for your hands upon us. Now, Lord, we come, we have crossed the threshold to worship you and to give you our tithe and offerings, O oh God, and let it be used to your kingdom. In the name of Jesus to Christ, amen, amen, amen. Let the church say amen. amen. This song I am going up to my sweet mama. I just want to tell y'all. I miss her so much. But that's just love. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing love. Amen. If I couldn't sing a word.
God good? All the time, God is good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, I just want to announce, I have an announcement here. Brother Harry Press is here with us today. Praise God. Brother Harry, just stand up. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. allowed him to go in the hospital and brought him home and now he's recovering and God is good, saints of God. Yes, he is. And also, I think, Sister McKinley Wilson is in the hospital. Is she here? Yes. 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 Oh. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank God I'm still learning, folks. I'll be glad when we take these masses off. I can see some beautiful faces. And I think we recognize the victory. Do we have visitors with us today? No visitors. quite get it, but in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Is there a visitor here this morning? Please stand. Oh, praise the Lord. That's what she was trying to tell me. God bless you. Uh, we certainly thank you for worshiping with us on this fifth Sunday. God bless you and please come again. Uh, friendship, repeat after me. Visitor. Visitor. We love you. We love you. Please come again. Please come again. Amen, amen, amen. God is an awesome God. At this time, saints of God, we will certainly thank you, Jesus, here from our choir, Friendship Mass Choir, and then we will hear from heaven. Uh, before the choir sing, I just want to do a brief introduction of this young man who will be speaking today, uh, Reverend Henry James, Reverend Henry Roosevelt James, is my oldest brother. Amen. Amen. Reverend Henry James was born and raised right here in King Street, South Carolina, transitioned to New Haven, Connecticut. All right. uh, that's where he lives now. In New Haven or West Haven? New Haven, Connecticut. God bless him. He is married to my wonderful sister-in-law, Cynthia James. Praise God. They love the Lord. Amen. Uh, he is the co-pastor of Faith, Hope, and Charity Church of Christ, Disciples of Christ, in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, my brother is, you won't believe it, saints of God, he just turned 80 years old. Praise All right. Amen. And he doesn't look like it. Now, isn't God good? Now, he is my twin brother. I am 69 and he's 80. Amen. 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 You, you feel that one now. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. After the next election, the next voice you will hear will be that of the Reverend Henry James. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together for this great man of God. Thank you.
didn't give up Even though I gave out Seems like someone lost Got all in my way But the road got longer The more I pray But when it seems like I
moment that we're going to have church today. Somebody said we're going to worship today. Somebody said we're going to praise the Lord today. I'm so glad I was one of the ones that said we're going to praise Him because I know it's all in His hands. It's all in His hands. Yes. Oh, yeah. No doubt. But I know it's all in his hand. See, so you have to know that you know that it's in his hand. See, so you have to know it's not in your hand. Because you see, you will let go in a minute. But when it's in his hand, when you're going through, he'll still be there. Somebody will hear what I'm talking about. Oh. I said, oh. In his hand. Amen. Yes, sir. Glory be to God. Amen. All in his hand. Your son, that sister. God bless you. God bless you. Arise this morning, give a praise to the Almighty God. Thanking him for how he had kept me. For where he brought me from. From a mighty long way. I just thank him. I have so much to thank him for. Yes, Lord. I said I have so much to thank him for. Yes, you see, sometimes we take life for granted. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right. You see, I, I went through the battle with cancer. Right. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. But it healed my body. Right. So you know I got to See, it wasn't the doctor. Somebody said a doctor did it, but I know it was Dr. Jesus. I said, Dr. Jesus, that healed me. But Dr. Jesus gave the doctors a knowledge how to treat me for the disease. I feel good this morning. As my brother said, turn 80. Lord. I said, what does it feel like to be 80? <laughs> haven't caught up with that yet. Amen. Amen. But I thank God I'm still here. Amen. And we get around. Amen. He's God. Amen. <laughs> yes, sir. God is good. All the time. All the time. Amen. Amen. I just want to thank God for my brother, Frank. Amen. God bless you. I thank God for him allowing me to stand here in this hope this morning. Amen. I just thank God for Wife Carolyn. Amen. And each and every one of you, I thank God for you, you know. Amen. 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 It's just a blessing to be here this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. It's a blessing. Amen. Yes, sir. And, and, and many times we don't realize how blessing, how blessed we are. But we are blessed. The enemy has thrown something on the whole world. There's violence. He's trying to destroy the whole world. But I'm here to tell you that God is in control. Oh, God is in control. I'd just like to say this also before I get to the When I left home in 58, 58, 59, I was, a, I was a part of Wilson Chapel United Methodist Church. And before then, he was in Hippie Grove. If some of those saints from Wilson Chapel then and Hippie Grove would come here today, they would say, but it was a holy, sanctified church. Come on, somebody. Now, I know I'm not the only one in here that know that we didn't have all this in the church. Thank God for it. Thank God for you. Thank God for one of you. All right. Amen. Amen. See, this is a Methodist with stiff neck. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just being honest. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. I'm just being honest. 
but I didn't understand what he really was talking about Hallelujah. Come on. until just a few days ago when God gave me this sermon. He probably got it from his grandparents, they would raise him. How, what he really was talking about, and they were talking about him, was sin. You see, sin doesn't have to what we call be a big sin. But we know sin is sin. But, I, but I can I can watch the sin comes in categories. Hmm? And, and and the flies here is sin. Amen. <laughs> you see, you see, when we leave ourselves open, come on, son. We are leaving ourselves open. To fly. Yeah. We're leaving ourselves open to sin. Yeah. Or think Paul say we are must pray without ceasing. Yeah. Meaning that we are to keep ourselves prayed up. Yeah. So when sin does come our way, yeah. you have a cover. Yeah. Huh? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. See, everybody. Don't have that comfort. Come on, preacher. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. See, some folks might say they have the comfort. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah. Go ahead. Some may even act as though they have Go ahead, the Go ahead. comfort. But all you have to do is stick around them and see what the fly yeah. means. Yes, sir. anything to them, but just watch yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your actions speak louder than your words. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? All right. yes. See, your action yes. is you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Jesus. Huh? Yes. I cannot hide my action. Yes, sir. It's going to come out. And most of the time, it come out sooner. The minute, the minute you say the wrong thing to me, the flies begin to buzz. You can't hide sin, and you can't hide from sin. 
this is the reason why we do our best than not to get it within us. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. You see, once you get it out of you, when you say that, Lord, I come to you. I'm giving my life to you. Yes, yes. You must stay in that position. Yes. Rather than going back and forth, back and forth. Yes. Huh? Oh, I'm good today. Because uh -huh. today's Sunday, I'm in church. Come on, preacher. Come on, Red. So I can act up today. I can shout today. Come on, Red. But don't wait till I get in the best of you out there and say something to me because I'm going to tell you what I think of you. I'm going to let the fly run wild in my life. Oh, I don't know about you. But see, I know how to fly run. You see, I was there at one time so I could talk about it. I'm not trying to hide it. Yes, I've been there. Right. Done that. <laughs> and I said, I got t shirt to prove it. And I've been there. Yeah. I've not been Jesus. man behind the pulpit all my life. Come on, preacher. So yeah. thank be to God. Yes, sir. Somebody yeah. said, thank be to God. Yeah. One day. Yeah. One day. Yeah. One day. Yeah. When the fly yeah. lit into, light into the ointment, yeah. Yeah. I was able to go in. And take it out yeah. and go to the Lord in the pit of my sin. If the Lord forgive me for what I have done, forgive me for what I might have said. I said, Lord, will you forgive me? And He forgive me for all my sins. So now I know you have watched me. Come on. Yes. 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 No. Oh, yes. We must avoid. Or oh, we must avoid staying around anyone that have a lot of fly swimming around. But sooner or later, I'll light on you. You know what I'm talking about. You see that happen in the physical as well as in the spiritual. You see, you can be in a room with a lot of people and there's flies flying around. Sooner or later, one's gonna light on you. So you can go with somebody that doing a lot of wrong. Sooner or later, you're going to start doing wrong yourself. Why? Because you were there with the wrong people at the wrong time. I don't care if it's mother. I don't care if it's father. If they got a fly in the ointment, I'm going to distract you. Yes, my Lord. See, so many preachers today have flies in the ointment. Come on, man. They have flies in the ointment. You see, preachers, all of them is not free from having flies. See, see, but they make you think they don't have flies. But here goes. Some of them are jealous of the other preachers. Uh -huh, they got a bigger house. They got a bigger congregation. Yeah, they're jealous. They got flies. They got flies. Yeah, they got flies in the army. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they too. See, that's why. That's why we have so many churches today. And so many churches are running wild today. Because so many preachers have flies in their army. How many of you know that a fly don't care what it lands on, but it can land on it. See, sin doesn't care. Where it falls and who it falls on, it can fall where it's at. So I'm telling you right now, you better get yourself ready. You better get yourself and make sure that you have used the right pesticide so you can get rid of the fire. Prayer, the thing that will change life. Prayer, the game being your market. Prayer.
You know the saints say the devil under our feet. But many of us, he has us under his
Elder Henry James uh, uh, some praise. Let the Lord know just how much uh, you appreciate his word today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Strive. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Sing for us, choir. Let the Lord use you. Oh my head, oh it comes from the Lord, comes from the Lord. Oh, my head. oh my head, it comes from the Lord, comes from the Lord. Wherever
joined this church family, let it be known, is there one who wants to give their life to Christ? Let it be known, sins of God. Don't be ashamed. Find your way down to the altar. Give your heart to God. Is there one this morning who wants to renew their vows with the Lord? If that's you this morning, saints of God, don't be ashamed. We are living in critical times. We are in perilous times, saints of God. We are living in the last days. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, come on down to the altar. And don't be ashamed. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, saints of God, we need him. We need him. We need him, saints of God. We need the Lord to heal us. We need God to keep us. We need God to counsel with us. Walk with us. We need him, saints of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Minister, President, will you come and pray with us and for us? Ministers, I'm going to ask you all to step down here with us. Praise God. Say to God, I don't know about you, but I know I need God's power. I don't know about you, and I'm not ashamed. If you're not ashamed of just wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You're still here. Still here, still here. Still on this side. Some of you have been through COVID, but you're still here. You're still here. You're still here. Still here. Hallelujah. If you desire to come, just spread yourself out over the altar and just form a line around the aisle. Praise God. There is no place, no place I would rather be than in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We need him, saints. We need him. We need him. More so than he needs us. Oh God. We have been fighting demons. The pandemic. Is the. Origin. Of what we are going through today. Say to God you know. When prayer goes up. Blessings come down. When a righteous prayer goes up, the right answer comes back. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God that is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and Omega. The God that brought the children of Israel across the Red Sea. We are calling on you right now. Lord, we know that you know all about it and you know all that troubles our heart, Lord. Right now we come in the humblest way that we know how. Father God, we are turning from our wicked ways and we are humbling ourselves because we need to hear from heaven. We need to hear your voice that you will heal the land. Not will you heal the land, but you will turn things around. For everything, every, every storm God, we don't have to ask you to go to the hospitals because we know that you are already there. We don't have to ask you to go to the nursing home because we know that you are already there. We know that your Holy Ghost anointing, populating your people, 
oh God, and we want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing Jesus the Christ to, to go to a rugged cross on the half of our sins, Lord. That you're in the holies of holies. Telling the Father what we need, that you are our advocate. For your stripes, we are healed. God, we know that you took those stripes, that we are healed, and we are believing you to heal the land. Look over our children, Lord. Touch them in a mighty way. And not only that, God, those that are suffering through bereavement, God, let them know that this is not the end, but there's another side. There's an eternal lifestyle that we must live on. Not only that, God, there are many here that are sick with diseases, God, and we know that you are a healer, and we ask that you do heal your people right now, God. Heal their mind, heal their heart, heal their spirit, Lord, for they have been wounded and cut down, Lord. We ask that you build them up on every living side. And Lord, not to forget our pastor, Lord. Touch him in a mighty way, Lord. As he lead us, as, as Moses lead the children of Israel, as he lead us to the promised land. Help us to be obedient to the word, Lord. Help us to be obedient to instruction. So that we can be close to our leader, Lord. As the anointing all came off of the beard of Aaron, we ask that the anointing all flow in us, God. That your Holy Ghost will rest on the inside. And we will use the word of Lord as our sword that we can cut the enemy or to and fro. Not from our prayer, but coming from the sincere heart, Lord. We ask that you bless your people and show yourself strong and show yourself mighty. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. We have organized a women's prayer ministry. And saints of God, I thank God for this women's prayer ministry. We have been studying a book together that deals with prayer. And it's working. It is working. Women of God, keep on praying. And saints of God, everyone needs a prayer partner. Yes, everyone needs a prayer partner. You see that your partner represents your witness. When God brings it to pass, you will be the witness. Come on, can I get a witness, somebody? If you don't have a prayer partner, find a prayer partner. Amen, 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 amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Saints of God, I want to thank you for your worship today. Praise God. On this fifth Sunday, this is a new ministry. Every fifth Sunday, we, we will come together and there will be a special talent or a special minister who will bring the word. A special, uh, should I say, singing group every fifth Sunday. And we want you to wear your t-shirt and invite others to come and worship with us. Any Sunday will be suffice, but especially on fifth Sundays. Amen, 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 amen. As we close this worship experience, put your hands together again for the Reverend Henry Roosevelt James. Oh, some of those old flies, you can't get rid of them. Can I get a witness, somebody? So let me tell you how to get rid of those flies. Get you a get you a, a, a fly squat. <laughs> I'm talking about the word of God. Come on, that's what you need to get rid of those flies. Amen, somebody. Praise God. Let us receive the benediction at this time. Put your hands together for this wonderful choir. The mass choir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And Nominating committee, please let us not forget there will be a brief meeting in the library, if you will. I promise you we won't keep you long. The nominating committee, you know who you are. Amen. Let us receive the benediction. Praise God. Most holy and merciful Father, we thank you, dear God, for what you have done. Yes, God. How you brought us through this service. We thank you, dear God, for your Holy Spirit yes, in this building today and in our heart, in this building. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. For how you, what you have done. Yes. We ask you, dear God, that you go with us when we leave here to our separate ways. Be a fence around us. Let no hurt harm or danger fall upon us. Yes, but keep us, Father God. Yes, God. Now, in the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yes, be with us now, handful and forever. Yes, and let the church say, Amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you. And God keep you.